This video is gonna teach you the Muay Thai hand control. You're not only gonna learn the basic fundamentals of how to apply the Muay Thai hand control, but you're gonna learn proper footwork for the Muay Thai hand control. We're gonna teach you how to use the hand control to land body kicks. You're gonna learn how to use hand control against aggressive opponents. And we're gonna show you how to add that Muay Thai hand control for great defense. We know that you're gonna find this video extremely valuable. Are you ready to cook for them? Yes. Tabernacle, let's go. The first thing we're gonna do is teach you about turning your opponent. The good thing about hand control is that it allows you to use your opponent's leverage against them, right? So if he's, Tito's coming forward, watch my hand control, boom, hand control. Versus if I have a boxing guard, come on, go ahead, come forward. See, I can't, I can't grab him like this. So you're gonna show your palms out and the first thing we want you to do is learn how to use their weight against them, leverage. So he's coming forward, watch what I do. Palm to his guard and I make him go the way that I want him to go. I want him to go this way. Step out and push. One more time, when they're coming forward, they're coming forward, my guard's up, you divert him. Kind of like a matador and a bull. When he's coming forward, watch what I do. Watch my step, watch my step, and watch my hand. My palm is open, and you can't lightly touch them when you're doing hand control. Hand control, you have to be strong, confident. Come on. He's coming forward, boop, make him go that way. Notice the feet, notice the palms. Notice the rear hand that's staying up, right? Because we don't want these guys to, you know, be moving more and swinging wild and you get clipped. So you always want to protect yourself. Let's show them, Tito. I'm going to come forward on Tito like I'm an opponent. And just like you're going to do at home, you're going to divert the weight and you're going to take that side step. Make sure to keep that rear hand up. I come this way, other hand, bop, good. That's diverting, right? One more time, bop. Good. And look what I have to do as a defender. When he made this angle, what do I have to do? I have to turn, right? For that split second, I can't really defend myself. So think about this. So by the time I turn around, you can body kick, right? Wham! That's how fast it works. By the time your opponent's already turning, you're landing that body kick. You're landing that knee. You're landing that one, two. That's the first thing we want you to do when you're learning this hand control. All right, let's run through it one more time. He pop, that's it. And you make your opponent go that way. Push, boom. Check out his rear leg, because you can do it right hand or left hand. I step forward, go slow, go slow. I haven't got there yet. Pop, then he push, boom. Clearing out the distance. I don't know if I would go back two steps like that, because now you can't attack. But if you really need to catch your breath, or you know, you kind of protecting your points, you can take more steps out of the pocket. The choice is yours. Come on, one more time. Pop, good, he come forward. Pop, that's it. Easy enough. Okay, so now you just learn how to use proper hand control with the footwork. That's only the start though, gang. We wanna teach you how to add the attacks. The first attack that we're gonna show you is how to use the hand control, footwork, to body kick. Lock in with us because this right here, this that work. Come on, here we go. I want you to pay attention to the details. The opponent comes forward, I'm gonna make the space, and when I use my footwork to get that opening, you're gonna make sure that your hip is already open. That's the key. Come forward, pop, there, foot is already open. Then from here, I kick, bam, back out. He come forward, pop, it's already open. Kick, boom. Remember gang, this is a game of inches and milliseconds. So when you make them turn, if you're not ready to kick, you know, they're gonna turn and who knows, they might block, they might attack you first. So you gotta be ready with this one. When you're turning, you don't wanna have the hip closed. I'm gonna show you what I mean when I say not to have the hip close. He comes forward, turns, hip close. Now for that split second, now I gotta open the hip and kick. Because think, if I don't open my hip and I kick, I'm kicking straight up. So as soon as you make that turn, as soon as you make that turn, bam, your foot is already open. Not close, open. That way you can kick easy, boom, real fast. So remember, it works both ways. They come forward, ma, he turn, look, boom, hip open, body kick, bam, bop, bop, he come forward again, bop, open, bam. Let's show them, Tito, this is how I want you to practice with your partner at home. Turn, bop, kick, wham, turn, bop, open, kick, wham, boom, kick, wham. So that's what you're gonna do when you're diverting, you're using those principles that we gave you. Nice strong hand, extension, making them go that way. When you make that angle and turn, your hips are gonna be open, then I want you to bam, up and down, fast as you can. 
That's the kick. So next up on the menu, you got the basic IQ, the basic fundamentals of the hand control. You know how to turn, you know how to kick. Now I'm going to teach you guys how to use the hand control to the knee. You're going to love this one, so check me out. When somebody's coming forward aggressively, especially the boxer, of course you don't want to get caught with that straight shot. So when you're making your hand control, you're showing your palms, I want it not here, I want a small hole here. And I want one bodyguard and two bodyguards. Ma. So if they're coming forward aggressively, if they, and if they jab, Ma, look, I can protect it all day. Jab, jab. Oh, good. See? I'm protecting it right here, and I'm taking a half a step back. Once your opponent gets into that range, if you're timing the jab, you're going to push his lead hand down. You're going to extend the rear hand just in case he throws an overhand, and then you're going to pull him into the knee. Pin and knee. One more time. He comes forward aggressive. Watch what I do. Pin. All right. Knee. He coming forward. Oh, yeah. Like, pin. Push it down. It can't be soft and subtle. Pin. Knee. Put it coming forward. Knee. Boom. Just like that. And you can also use the lead hand, right? You can switch it, correct? I come forward again. Pop, pop, pop. Knee. That's it. It's all about hand control. And again, don't forget to protect yourself against those, against those punches, right? Because you don't want to have an aggressive opponent coming to you. You're waiting to grab his hands. Before you grab it, boop, your neck goes back. You can't grab anything then, all right? So chin down, showing my palms, chin all the way down, chin tucked, right? And you're ready. Bump, 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 boom, Three. Good. Next up on the menu, you got the kicks, you got the footwork, you got the knees. Now we're going to give you the punches. If you're sparring, you want to use punches, but remember, with these same drills, these same fundamentals, they could be switched out with elbows. Remember that. Practice with punches, but always put it in your mind. The same way I do this with a punch, I can do it with an elbow. So that way, when you start fighting, you're that much more dangerous. Come on, man, let's tap in. Here we go. When it comes to using your hands off the hand control, guys, I want to make sure we have good distance, right? So, too close, too far, here. All right, the first one I'm gonna teach you is the pull, cross, 3B, right? Very simple, you're gonna touch your partner, touch your opponent, all right, just don't give it to me, all right, touch, touch, pop, time, pull. Not touch, I want you to pull it, pull, and when you pull, his head's gonna come forward just like that. So you're gonna pull it, you're gonna two, then you're gonna 3B. Anything with B stands for body, all right, 3B. One more time, this is what you're gonna do to your sparring partner. Touch, bop, fake a little bit. Uh, Sometimes vertical jabs just to kind of get them, get them warmed up. Bop, move, yap, five, pull, ooh, three B. Just like that, simple enough. Pull, cross, three to the body. Another one that we want you to use. So that's is only a snippet of the full version that's now available on the KMA Online Muay Thai Drills and Workouts Program. To get registered for four tiers of authentic Muay Thai, all you have to do is hit the link in the pinned comment or the description.